good morning guys, YouTube people, world, everywhere, wherever. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I got some projects I got to do. Um, yeah man, um, it's a long week. Wisconsin is very, very humid and skeeters everywhere. I got skeeter bites everywhere on my arms, legs. I don't know how, I don't know. I don't know how they get through got needles that long, I guess. Or stingers or whatever they're called. Um but yeah it was hot and humid and every day my clothes probably had about or weighed about just my shirt weighed about ten pounds. Soaking wet. Um, yeah, so back California. Got home last night about eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, flight was delayed from. Uh, from uh, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, delayed about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, something like that, hour, uh, maybe even a half hour. Um, everything was good out there, guys are cool, um, a couple guys that should be working a little more aren't, um, by the way, they're just the laborers. And they're new hires, they're newer guys, like 2019, 2018. And uh, I, I guess it's that generation that doesn't really want to work. But it is what it is, so I had to pick up slack. Everybody else had to pick up slack. Got a lot of good guys on the gang that like to work, like to get the job done. Are proud of working, I guess you can call it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, everything went good out there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say. So, while I was out there, eBay had a 5% eBay Bucks coupon. So I bought some parts for Project Crack Pipe. So I found it. I'm hoping it's going to work. I hope it's going to fit. White pipe, so I don't have to weld and modify and jerry rig this Y pipe here that I botched all up. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I uh, ordered a white pipe. So, since uh, muffler shop is going to charge me like 250 bucks to do it, I found a Y pipe and had three inch collectors, which these are three inch collectors. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Oh, I bought, so I'm gonna try some stuff. Um, talking to my roommate who does car stuff, truck stuff. And, uh, what I'm going to attempt to do. I don't know how, but on Project Crack Pipe. So, you have the upper A arm and you have the lower A arm. So, the upper A arm, I must see if I can't build. Uh, I bought some brackets for airbags. So, I'm going to put a bracket above the upper A arm. And put a bracket on top of the upper A-arm and sandwich an airbag in there to see if that won't, will push the A-arms, if that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, then I don't know. You'll just have to wait and see what I do. Um, so yeah, I got the white pipe coming. I have white pipe coming, airbags, and the brackets coming but I don't think they'll be here until the first and uh, 
when the first rolls around, I'll have to be back up in Wisconsin. And they're cutting more and more and more and more jobs. I think uh, this work cycle, I want to say they cut probably about 160 jobs. So, um, yeah, I uh, might go out there, might get displaced, and then we'll have to go somewhere else. But I'm not going to chase the money at this time of the year because they're supposed to cut off another 300 and something people by November from, you know, rumors, just rumors. Nothing set in stone, but there is a a thing going out, people talking. So anyway, uh, yeah, 300 more jobs by November are going to be cut, so if I get displaced, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back home, work local, and uh, just work five days, eight hours a day. And plus, I don't want to be traveling when winter time hits and all the other stuff. So I'll just be here home and I'll probably be getting a bunch of overtime because during the winter months, the rail breaks, a lot of problems, switches, uh, freeze up, stuff like that. They don't really freeze up too much out here. But they can, depending on what kind of year it is, uh, cold or not, snowy, rainy. But anything's possible for this year, 2020, who knows. We could have a little uh, pond, someone can have a swimming pool, and there could be a hurricane from that swimming pool. <clears throat> but anyway... So, if you guys notice, something's missing over here. If not, if you don't notice, then uh, I had a 6-7 Cummins that I built. Check out uh, the playlist on my channel of uh, the build. And I want to show you guys something real quick. <clears throat> i got time. I'm trying to make a 10-minute video. So, on my phone... Going to the offer up. Let's go to the this thing. And let's see, what do I have saved? Alright. So that that right there is a possibility. <clears throat> but this right here caught my attention. I was scrolling through offer up. And I was like, man, that looks familiar. And then I said, man, that looks really familiar. I saw all this. I said, that, that all brings back memories <clears throat> of building an engine. And I come over here and go, oh, wait. What's going on here? And then I was all, oh, wait. What's going on here? I know all those parts. <laughs> The guy that bought the engine, he took it all apart. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. Um, but that's a machined crank. The cam was fine. Uh, he's selling all this stuff for a thousand bucks. That's the rear main seal. The front cover. Exhaust manifold. Um, valve cover. Looks like the fuel rail. He's selling all the stuff. The rear trans adapter. All of it. Thousand bucks. So. I, it, it doesn't look like it was ran. So I'm assuming he just took it. He told me he was going to. He bought it. And he was going to take the cam out. And he's like. He said yeah I'm going to take the cylinder head off. And take the cam out. And replace the cam. And I said well you don't have to take the cylinder head off. You know, this way you don't have to buy a new head gasket. So you just, <clears throat> all you have to do is run little dowels down into the tappets, pull them up, tie a rubber band around it. I've seen Greg A do that millions of times. Um, and uh, told him how to do that. And he says, oh, okay, okay. And now the whole motor's apart. So 
whatever. Is what it is. He paid me. I don't care. It's his, it's his deal now. But I just thought that was weird how I just was scrolling through offer up, looking at stuff, looking at stuff, and I was scrolling up and I was like, wait, that assembly lube on that crank looks familiar. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, dude took it all apart. Oh well. Um, I don't know what he's doing. I did know. I know that he said that it threw his through a rod through the block so I don't know if he's just using yeah I don't I don't know I don't get it because if he threw a rod that means a rod is broke bent broke went out the block so if he's using the rods from the engine I built and the block what happened to the crank I, I don't know anyway I don't know I don't care I was kind of hoping he'd text me and be like, hey, this engine runs good or it runs great or ain't got no issues. But then I saw that and I'm like, okay, <laughs> do whatever you're going to do. But anyway, so I really don't have anything planned. Uh, I got an eye appointment and uh, that's pretty much it other than waiting for the parts. But I don't think the parts will be here for the project crack pipe, so... I might get a little bored and might do some wiring. I don't really know. I don't know. But anyways, guys, if I don't know, you don't know. What we don't know is all I know is I got pretzels. Unsalted pretzels. Who buys these? Obviously nobody, which is why he had a whole truck full of them. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below, subscribe, tell me what you guys want to see, let me know what you guys want to hear. See you in the next video. Later.